Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here with my mom and I am doing her makeup and I'm just gonna kind of give a step-by-step -step process of kind of the way you should do makeup if you have more mature skin and she is my willing model and I think she looks beautiful and I'm excited for you guys to see what she looked like before and what she looks like now. So stay tuned and keep watching this video. All right, first I'm going to start with applying the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And it's poor minimizing. Do you usually use a primer, Mom? No. No? So let's talk about, like, I'm only going to use a small amount right here, like, on your nose and under your eyes. So let's talk about, like, what's your normal makeup routine? Do you wear foundation? I usually start with moisturizer, so... Um, but I'm going to put moisture on right, moisturizer on right yeah, now. Yeah, and... Um, Foundation, um, concealer. The older you get, the more you have to conceal. I, I kind of think that, too, on like more mature skin, sometimes less can be more. Oh yeah. Um, so that's just my opinion. Good. All right, and then my mom loves the um, Tarte Amazon Clay. This is definitely like a full coverage foundation so we are going to use that because that's what she likes and it's her shade and I'm not sure if I have her shade <laughs> and then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender I am using um a really old beauty blender that's why it looks like this because my dog recently ate my other one but I'm excited because I ordered the um Jeffree Star the new um sponge collection he just did with Morphe with the little baby uh, Morphe beauty sponges, so I'm excited to get those in the mail. Okay, so I'm just applying, I would say, a light amount, starting out very light. So that's the amount of foundation. I think I use probably like two and a half, um, I would say two and a half squirts of the chart shape tape. Here, can you look at me? One thing, my mom and I both, we both have dry skin, so. Especially in the winter. A lot of the products that I use are good for my mom's skin too because she has dry skin like me. And then we're just gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under the eyes. So do you do concealing in your normal, you said you conceal? Yes, I do conceal. Where all do you usually um, conceal? Under the eyes, obviously, that's a biggie. And then sometimes, um, kind of around the edges of the mouth, the nose, that kind of thing. Try to take the redness out. Mm -hmm. I think definitely, like in our family, we have very, like I would say, fair skin with um, pink undertones. Wouldn't you? Yeah. We all kind of have, like, peachy pink undertone. Yes. All right, and then I'm going to take that same beauty sponge and just set the underneath of the eyes. Now, what are you using to set it? It's called setting powder, and this is the Derma Blend um, brand. And the reason why you set it is it helps look up. It helps with not creasing underneath like your concealer creasing in your fine lines underneath your eye. Oh. This is probably I, a step you don't do. I never used that. I've never yeah. used that before. But she uses the all over tart. You use the all over powder. All over powder. Is it, what is it, loose foundation? It's loose. Or is this setting powder? No, it's more of a... Um, oh no, it is setting powder. Setting powder. So we can try that on the you're, rest of your face. You're proud of me that I had that. Yeah. I didn't new. know you owned setting powder. Well, it's new. <laughs> I, that's why I thought I would funny. bring that today. Okay, good. You would be surprised. All right, and then I'm just going to put some concealer on her eyelids just to make sure everything's nice and even. So How do you get your eye makeup on without messing your foundation up? That's always been kind yeah, of um, a big challenge. A good trick for that is like actually leaving on like this translucent powder underneath your eye. And then you can kind of just like wipe it all away 
and it doesn't smear or ruin your eye look because it's just setting on top of the powder. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try the my mom's Tarte setting powder because I've never used it before, so I'm curious. And I'm gonna set the rest of her face and I'm gonna use the provided sponge. Comes like this with a little poof and just so since we have dry skin, especially in the winter, applying a lot of powders can be definitely intimidating because um, that's kind of gonna help dry your skin out even more. So you definitely kind of want to go in with a lighter, a lighter hand with your powder if you have dry skin. I like to leave the powder on the under eye for a while just to like let so it set So it's supposed in. to look like that, right? Like white? Yeah, white yeah. like that. <laughs> yes, and I'll wipe it away here in a little bit. I definitely don't But that stuff. makes you look really awake, Mom. With the white under your eye? Kind of scary. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to fill in your brows. Is this something that you do? Um, probably not that often. Once in a while... It's definitely something I'm beginning to see quite a need for because my eyebrows are getting thin and very light. And so, Dirk Scott, have you? We've talked. My mom and I have talked about um, possibly. She's thought about doing microblading. So, if any of you guys have ever done it or have any like tips or suggestions, let us know. Yeah. I'm interested in it because I, I would really like to do it. I'm just not sure how much maintenance there is to it, you know. Can you, um, part of it with me is I honestly, my vision, my close-up sure. vision isn't yeah. as good. So can you do these and leave them on for more than one day? Or is that the just... The eyebrows? Yeah. No? I think that they'll come off. I mean... They're not going to stay. Like, not penciled in. Okay. See, that's a dramatic difference. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. Even For without you. even without my glasses, I can see my eyebrows. <laughs> that's a little scary. I'm going to have to go over this with some powder just to make sure that the... So product, what you're using is face. basically a pencil. It's a brow pencil. That's why I use and then are my you, eyebrows. Are you smoothing the actual hair, not that I have a lot, down? Or yeah, I brush through it with the... Okay. Um, or do I brush through it with the spoolie on the end of the eyebrow pencil? Wow. You better run over your makeup's done. But now you just look like... I look like... You look kind of clown-esque right now. I look like a scary, <laughs> scary ghost. You look clown-esque right now. All I need is some big red lips. You gotta trust the process. Trust the process. I'm all about the process. Yeah. I'm just gonna use some brown powders from uh, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and just go over this with powder so oh powder on the eyebrows yeah because since this is like a liquid it's kind of like a liquid base if you will you want to set it with powder so you have to have brown powder for that well or not is it, or is it eyeshadow I don't know if you guys could tell but this is eyeshadow oh. but my mom really um doesn't have like any eyebrows like you're, it's really, so it's all product. Yeah, it's very faint. I have very small amount of eyebrows. So, um, you just want to make sure that the product stays. So you want to set it with powder. That's why we set your foundation with powder. Okay. Too. I'm going to just clean up the edge of the brow with some, con clean up the edge of the brow with some concealer. And then I'm just going to pat that in with my beauty blender. I'm going to do her eyes and I'm going to do like brown neutral tones. And I'm going to start in the crease with this Morphe R37 brush and just use some brown tones from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I, I do own more than just this palette. I just feel like this is perfect for a neutral look for my mom. So I'm just going to go... In her crease.
What are some new good eyeshadow palettes, guys? Leave them in the comments. I want to try some new stuff. All right, and then I'm just going to deepen it with a darker brown, same brush, kind of towards the outer edge. Now, what do you usually do? Do you add dimension to your eyes much, or do you usually just stick to one shade? I usually do two. You usually do two. Mm -hmm. Do you like, and you like the naked palettes, right? Well, I have some. I also have a Tarte palette. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, it just kind of depends on how much time I have and what you're doing. Yeah, sometimes yes. I don't do a whole lot. Sometimes I do a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to use the Stila Eye Shimmer because I think this will be fun with the eye and the lip that I picked out. And I'm just going to put this down here. These are really fun and easy. Yeah, I have light makeup on today and I just have like a shimmer on my eyelid. Um, which I kind of like that just for work and like where do you get a, Where do you get a shimmer at? Oh, sorry. sorry. Is that a brand? No, so like a shimmer shadow. Like these ones have shimmer. And these ones are matte. Oh. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. But it's not shimmer because it's it feels like it's a little bit wet. Like in that is, yeah. That is um that's a little bit um, you know, something a little bit different than like a shimmer shadow. It's like a shimmer, I would call it like a pigment. Now I'm going to dust away. Do you think that those stay better or how do you get your powders? to stay. Sometimes I just feel like my eye makeup flakes away. I think, do you put a concealer down? I don't usually do it under the eye makeup like you did, so maybe that's part of my yes. problem. Yes, you need to put a concealer down and then, um, like you can use your eyeshadow as the setting base, or you can even set it with um, that translucent powder that you have. Mm -hmm. Either would work. So concealer and then setter and then eyeshadow. Yeah, because if you put something liquid on your face, then you want to put something powder over it to help it stay. All right, now we are going to start contouring, which I'm almost certain you do not do this. But you do use bronzer, don't you? Sometimes. Yeah, kind of. Sometimes. So it's the same concept. Okay. No, so what I'm... you want to do is like bring um, highlight to the like inner parts of your face and then contour or highlight the high points like where the sun would be. So you're just kind of like mimicking what the sun's doing. Okay, now I'm going to take some of those contour shades and do the forehead. My mom doesn't have, she has a pretty petite forehead already. I'm just going to add it a little bit heavier to the temple area of the face. Now, do you worry about what shade you're using or? Um, I mean, you don't want to use anything. If you have light skin, you don't want to use anything too dark. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't want your, you want your contour to be like, a. I mean, it's hard to say with contour, I think. I would say it's a few shades darker than you really are, but your highlight, you just want like a couple shades lighter than you really are. Then I'm going to take some of the banana powder and put it on her forehead. Now what's banana powder? It's kind of like an orange or yellow tint light powder. And I'm going to put that under her eyes a little bit, just very lightly. Now, is the contour a powder or is that a... Yes, you can contour with liquid or powder. I usually, since, I mean, I usually just do powder most of the time. And then I'm going to take some contour on your chin to try and give you the illusion of a more chiseled chin. Really important with your contour to make sure that you get all of it blended because you don't want any harsh lines. And then I'm going to contour your nose with the simple eye brush and those same powders. 
And for this, I just go down your nose. Can you look at me? I just kind of go down your sides of your nose to give you the appearance of a thinner nose, if that makes any sense. I'm just using the Tarte Blush Palette. This is a holiday collection in the shade Endless. And now, do you want me to curl your eyelashes or do you want me, or do you want to curl your own um, eyelashes? I can try to do it. I haven't done this for a while. Okay, do you want a mirror? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Let's see which one of these has a mirror. So many palettes and they don't have mirrors. This, this one's a mirror, but it might be a little bit dirty. Can you see well enough with that one? Mm -hmm. I think it's always awkward to try and curl someone else's eyelashes. All right, her eyelashes are curled. I'm also going to go in with these brown shades. Um, can you look at me? Underneath her eyes, just to kind of blend the shadows together. So we have just like a full completed look. I look anyway. This is something that I know most people don't do. Ooh, open. Sorry, you good? Yeah, I got a little powder in my eye. But this really just brings the eye look like seamlessly connects it and makes it look, I think, really, wow. really good. Next step is setting spray. So this helps too if you have dry skin. So I'm just going to be closed eyes and this is going to mist on your face. Don't scrunch your face up like that. Relax. This helps if you have dry skin too. And then just kind of let it dry. I like to put that on before. You put mascara on because sometimes when your mascara gets wet and that's a disaster. Yes. <laughs> you don't want that getting all over your face. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm just using a Clinique mascara. Okay. It's really weird having someone apply your mascara, I'm just saying. I know. a little mascara on her eyeshadow but it's not a big deal if you just let that dry and then you take a q-tip um, it flakes right off but the key is you have to let it dry first or it will smear okay so now we're gonna do our lips and we're gonna be using a makeup forever liquid lip liner and then a bucks on bare minerals um, what are these called liquid lipstick so I am just can you like face me more Doing your makeup, I really can see the, and like almost feel the similar features that we have. So there we've got the liner on. And now we're gonna go in. This is just like a nude, peachy, mauve color that I thought would look good with her skin tone and the eye look that we did. Wow. Now I'm just gonna touch her mascara up on her eyes and then I'm gonna add highlight and we'll be done. I think it looks pretty good. I clearly need to go buy a lot more product. <laughs> <laughs> I know, kind of the key is, oh, close your eye. I feel like a lot with makeup, um, like I was saying, is it's a lot, okay, look up, of people, you know, having the right tools and having the right products is really like, integral to your success it's like trying to kind of like fix a car without having the right tools i mean you can't you can't do that you know um what do you think the biggest mistakes that uh, people with more mature skin are making i definitely i definitely think wearing too much i know that it looks like i really put a lot of makeup on my mom but i really didn't like compared to the amount that i would put on myself I did not put near that much on you. Like everything I use, like the powders and everything are like significantly less amount than what I would typically use on myself. So I'm just highlighting the tops of her cheekbones lightly because I don't, like I said, I 
And is this the banana powder? No, this is highlight. So oh, highlight. this is the Anastasia highlighting palette. And I need it. Using in, the fake shade summer. I need an instruction sheet. Because we're ready for summer, right, Mom? We're more than ready. Yeah, it's been way too cold here for us. And then I'm just going to lightly do it. Yes, the eyebrows are the most drastic change. Yeah, for sure, because they're fully filled in. And that would take like me yeah. the little a while to get used to. But yes. I like it. Yes, I think it really helps you know, frame your overall shape of your mm -hmm. face. And I think that's what brows are really yeah. important for. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you mom so much for doing this. I know it's kind of intimidating to thank be on you. camera without makeup, but you look beautiful and you always look good though. You don't need me to do your makeup. But thank you guys um, so much for watching and make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'm definitely gonna add some more beauty videos. I know I've kind of been doing other things, but I am going to get back with the beauty videos, so yes, comment, let me know what you guys want to see. If you have any questions, I can answer them, and I will see you in my yeah. next video. And we need that feedback about the microblading. Yes, we need I want to know, especially yeah. from you ladies that might be in my uh, mature age group. Um, or that have done microblading. If you've done it, um, what, your, what your thoughts are, whether you liked it, whether you didn't, what did you do? Um, I'm, I'm just curious before I take a step like but that. But maybe you should wear your brows fully filled in for a while to make sure that you like it. That's a good point. Be before you go with the and That's the first big step, right? Yeah. Do I like, like eyebrows? Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. guys. Well, we will be back with more videos, and I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Bye. Bye.